Pacquiao being aggressive as usual. That's how he became a future Hall of Famer. Landed 21 punches in the third round alone. Let's go to the eighth, final seconds. Ugas, he started finding his range, and Pacquiao started to pay the price. Twelfth and final round, Ugas not letting up. Knocking Pacquiao off balance there. Body shots were really effective for Ugas in this one. And it's a unanimous decision. Pacquiao loses in a title fight for the fifth time in his career. By the way, he was supposed to fight Errol Spence Jr. That fell apart, so Ugas steps up with 10 days notice to fight a Hall of Famer. How about that performance? Uh, Pacquiao hadn't been lethal, though, when coming off the longest layoffs in his professional career. Perhaps this one too long. In each of the previous three fights coming off a 340-day layoff, Pacquiao won that fight. But Saturday, he was outlanded 151 to 130, despite throwing over twice as many punches as Ugas. All right, back to the NFL now. Rams, Raiders. No starters played in this game, leaving opportunities for guys on both rosters. How about seventh round pick Chris Garrett out of Division II Concordia St. Paul. He hasn't played a football game since 2019 because his 2020 season was canceled due to COVID and doesn't seem to bother him, huh? Dude's got game. He's got heart all over the field making plays, including sacking the quarterback. Nathan Peter was like, yo, man, somebody get this dude. Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. Oh, they loving it. Love to see the young dudes do well. His last collegiate season in 2019, Garrett had 14 sacks, 20 and a half tackles for loss and seven forced fumbles. The guy's got game. He just needs an opportunity. And maybe he's got it there now in L.A. Raiders, though, win the game 17-16. Let's go around the diamond, people. Nationals, Brewers, bottom eight. Milwaukee with so many weapons like this guy right here. Christian Yelich, bases loaded, one out. And that one's deep. 454 feet, the second home run of the day for Yelich. He goes three of five in the game, two home runs, six RBI. Brewers winning at 9 6. How about the White Sox and Rays? Rays up 5 1 in the fifth. Run, run first. Manuel Margot. This is good. It's into the gap in left field. Wander Franco being sent home, and he is hustling. He wants to get in, so much so that he face plants on that slide. Uh, not the most graceful slide. <laughs> Eat some serious dirt right here. I mean, listen, it worked. Uh, but, again, not the most That's enough. That's all you can say. It worked. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Yankees, Twins, Rugnet Odor, bottom of the seventh. Calls for time with two strikes. Ralph Garza Jr. still throws the pitch, though. So, Odor's going to swing. Natural tendency. You know what? He jacks this one. It's gone. So, wait, what happens here? Because he called for time. It was a dead ball. Angel Hernandez granted him that time that he wanted. The Yankees dug out. They're stunned. But if you take a look at it, hey, well, they're clearly calling for time. He gets it. So, kind of unfortunate. Next pitch. I mean, that stings right there. High strike call. Rugi not happy with Hernandez. Strange play there in the Bronx. All right, Northern Trust, third round. First event of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Of course, played at Liberty National, across the way from Manhattan, and the storms starting to come. You're a little upset walking off the green. Maybe disappointed is a better word. That is a new course record that was just set by Xander Shoffley and Jordan Spieth on Saturday. He's tied for minus 16 with this guy at the lead, John Rahm, U.S. Open champion. He's been playing well since with Smith at minus 16. Again, the final round will be played on Monday due to the impending hurricane. That is absolutely filthy. Oh, he puts it down. Oh, yeah. razzle dazzle. Next level. And a football throws it down. Sports Center top 10.